Welcome back to my YouTube channel without a good upload schedule. We got quite the phone for you today. I didn't know what this was going to be before I looked at it, because my friend Tyler so graciously let me borrow his brand new phone to unbox on this channel. Little did he know I wouldn't be putting the review up until a month later, two months later, it doesn't matter. This is the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So he bought this thing imported. Uh, let me look through my phone real quick. He paid $209.99. So pretty good deal for what you get with this phone. Let's take a look at it real quick. Uh, first of all, look at this blue color. Holy crap. Just listen. Oh my God. That was my actual reaction to the color blue on this phone. It is really that pretty. And I just, I really like blue on all my tech. I had a blue Nexus 6. I've seen many blue phones, including the iPhone XR in blue, which does look very good. But this is just, this is next level. This is blue, blue. This is the bluest blue ever. Moving on from that, uh, we do have a 18 by nine aspect ratio, 5.99 inch screen on this thing. Uh, it's 2160 by 1080, good for 403 pixels per inch. There's a Snapdragon 636 on the inside, supplemented by either four or six gigs of RAM, depending on which version you purchase. There's also a 20 megapixel front facing camera on this thing, which I have not been able to test, but is probably pretty good, I must say. Uh, 20 megapixels is no joke, especially on a front facing camera. Around on the back, you've got a 12 megapixel sensor and a five megapixel dual camera rear sensor for your nice bokeh effects. Uh, you've also got no optical image stabilization on those, unfortunately, but you do have electronic image stabilization, uh, which means pictures will look good, but videos and low light photos might be a little dicey. Um, there is a 4,000 milliamp hour battery in this thing. Pairing that with a 1080p screen and a Snapdragon 636, battery life should be pretty excellent on this one. Uh, cracking open more into the case, we see my favorite thing in Chinese smartphones. They give you the worst case ever. I'm serious. These things are the most jello flimsy cases you have ever seen in your life. I mean, just look at it. See? Terrible. But that's okay. It's free. Who's going to complain? Me. Uh, there's your charger. It is micro USB. It is 2018 and we're still using micro USB. Look, I understand the phone is cheap. But, oh my God, put USB-C on everything. Even the, oh my God, the iPad has USB-C. You can put it on this thing. I digress. On the software side, we are running MIUI or MIUI 9 based on Android 7.1.2, which is, uh, as Tyler put it, a really bad version of an iOS skin on Android. If you can live with that, though, this phone might be for you. Again, it's only going to be like $200. We're going to take a look around the phone right now and take a look at this nice front with that big, almost bezel-less screen. You got your fingerprint sensor on the back and of course a micro USB on the bottom, but you do have a headphone jack. There you go. That's something, right? Uh, there's that beautiful camera and then that amazing IR blaster on the front, which I wish every phone had. I really do miss those. But anyway, here is your brief look at the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Um, I'll try and do a follow-up video on this. Who knows if it'll ever happen. But there you go. Enjoy.